Okay, so we're back. Um, I'll just move all these other upgrade parts out of the way for a minute. Um, just to focus on the drift controller lights. Probably do the lights last since there's going to be wires everywhere. Just going to focus on this this motor, upgraded motor. Um, yeah, I mean, focus. Fairly well made. Um, slightly bigger motor. So I'm just going to put these gears in, add a bit of lubricant, screw it together, and uh, yeah, see how we go. Good to see quite a lot of um, grease in there, covering the whole thing. You know, manufacturers that don't care about that quality, they'll they'll chuck it together. There'll be nothing in there. Seen a number of gearboxes just dry, uh, even from name brands. Um, so that's good to see. That's a sign that you know WPL cares about the quality, um, cares that it lasts a reasonable while. Um, certainly. Initially, when they started off, there were definitely quality issues, but they've they've improved in leaps and bounds. Um, I think they're going to be quite a reasonable name uh, in the coming years as they get better and better, uh, particularly with the type of designs they're releasing. Uh, interesting, different designs that, you know, really capture people's imagination. Uh, there's a, a racing, a world's fastest D12 competitions going on at the moment uh, on YouTube, you might have seen. People putting brushless motors and huge ESCs and big LiPo batteries in these things, mostly with the standard gear apart from that. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun. So, got the main, main axle coming through here. That goes in there. Okay, so I've got my um, motor, new motor and gearbox together. Um, it fits in nicely. I did have to take some material uh, out of here to make sure that it, it fit in okay and this this part didn't rub. Uh, this, this part didn't rub too much against there. And I've got that now. Um, you can use uh, you could use a file or maybe a very sharp uh, knife, exacto, something like that. Um, so that's in there. You can see it's it's clearing this. Okay, so that's not rubbing. At least it doesn't seem to be at the moment. Um, so now I just need to screw these two in. Now, what we have to do next? I mean, we could wire it. We could. We could do it up like that, but you know, I may as well go the whole hog and and uh, do the axle and everything while I'm here. Um, so the next part will be connecting this up. I'll need to take off this rear axle first. And here is our replacement. That the gears and screws for the axle. So let's start by just opening this up. Okay. Reasonable made parts, brass gears. Yep. Tight. Let's just move on to see where this is going to end up. Okay, so I have Loctited uh, these three grub screws. Uh, it's nice and snug. It's not loose. I'm 
I can never get these the right way around. That way. Yeah, that seems obvious. made a lot harder by the fact that you can put it together several ways and it fits 90% but the last 10% it's not going to work unless you got it perfect unless you got it around the right way and that is the right way which is pretty obvious now now that I'm looking at it Okay. All right. Okay, so that's screwed on there. And now the other side, the bottom goes on there. You go there. You go there. Two grab screws. Uh, was that the pin? That was the pin. <laughs> yeah, that's not so good. I mean, maybe that's what these for. Maybe those keep it on. Okay, so we've attached the rear axle uh, to the leaf springs here. Um, did notice that really only one one of these three um, leaf springs are real. The other two are just plastic. Maybe they provide some effect, but I'd certainly recommend um, grabbing that upgrade uh, where the three of them are steel. You can get um, a proper, uh, like a coilover um, that attaches here as well. Uh, I'm not going to go for that initially. I think this would probably do. Um, for what this is, uh, but just just get those all three layers uh, steel. It's about ten dollars posted max uh, from even less uh, from AliExpress. Uh, so as I said, a few issues getting this on perfectly. I suspect it may have been that I just had two sets of um, two sets of screws that were nearly identical but tiny bit different. Maybe that was it. Um, I had uh, these ones uh, which go across here um, one was like a millimeter uh, shorter um, and of course one was a millimeter longer and I found when I tightened them in it, it, it gripped the gearbox too much ended up uh, crunching um, so maybe I'd simply mix up the screws and I put in the long ones accidentally perhaps um, though I did recall having a similar problem with my C24. Um, I'll show you it. So <clears throat> I had a similar problem with this truck. Um, so I ended up getting the, um, the heavily upgraded and over-engineered uh, rear axle for this. Don't think that's necessary for the drifter, um, but we'll see. I mean, this is just really a bit of fun to see, to see what was possible. Okay, so now it's up to doing this, this drive shaft. Uh, first question that came to mind was these, uh, these links. These are different to the ones I've used before. Um, so some of you, all of you, maybe might be familiar uh, with these, but. Uh, I wasn't, so for those who are not familiar, the way it works is um, you've got this little rod, and that'll go through this top hole, 
Now I believe it needs to go through there. I'm going to have a, a look later and see whether that's correct, but I suspect that's what it is. It goes through there. So we push it through. We can see it there. Now, this one's quite loose. It comes out very easily. The other one uh, on this side, it's uh, one side was quite tight, so I was able to use pliers and push it fully in, and it stays there. Um, however, what you're supposed to do to keep these completely intact, where is it gone? There it is, is to use this. I didn't know what this was for uh, to begin with. It was just in the mix of bits that I got. Um, uh, and yeah, pretty much just figured out that it's it's for this. So basically this slides over the top uh, to stop that pin coming out. You can see the one I've done here. The way to do it seems to be just putting it on the top like that. Getting your pliers. Bob's your uncle. Um, you might find it. You might find it ends up like that. Give it a bit of a push in. Let it go over, uh, and there you are. So that's not going anywhere. Quite a nice design, I reckon. Um, so now we've got got our links. That will go in there, and it's just a matter of attaching each side and uh, and putting the grommet screws in. Definitely recommend lock tightening those in. They're notorious for coming out. Motor will plug in M1. I assume M1 is motor 1. Whenever you're dealing with power in these um, WPL boards, always make sure you got the priority. Uh, the priority. Always make sure you've got the polarity correct because they don't have protection on them, and you will blow them up. On. Where's the remote? This one. Oh, that is faster. Okay, so first test run uh, with the, the new hard drift tires, uh, the upgraded motor and gearbox, axle, drive shaft, etc. Uh, yeah, I mean, you couldn't wipe a smile off my face. That was, uh, yeah, um, this is a fun little buggy. Um, it probably looks ridiculous. In fact, it does look ridiculous uh, when you're driving, but it is fun. Um, this is just with the stock battery, okay, and stock ESC. 
um, I believe this this motor, this whole setup, uh, it really deserves um, a higher powered LiPo uh, and you know a bigger ESC. Uh, so I'll certainly be looking into that. Um, but in terms of a first test with the the, the, the stock battery and stock ESC, uh, this motor obviously, yeah, it can put out a lot more power than a standard one. And um, yeah, once we hook up a much bigger battery, uh, higher voltage, more amps, um, is going to be mental. <laughs> uh, yeah, it obviously is very little, uh, very little grip. It slides around like it's on uh, ice skates. Uh, which is pretty much what I expected. Um, you've got to be really delicate with the um, with the throttle, and it and it allows you to. Um, uh, I'm not too concerned about that. Um, it's pretty much what I expected. I'd like to see how it works on different surfaces. So I tried it on a concrete floor and uh, a wood floor, uh, very hard surfaces, and yeah, it it slid around, but it was still a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so next up, what have we got? We've got the upgraded lights go on the sides, the back and the front. We've got the drift controller. That's gonna be interesting to see how that works. Uh, and finally, we've got the, where is it? Finally, we've got the new uh, atomized aluminum wishbone suspension that'll go on there. Got a whole bunch of other things coming from AliExpress. Um, so yeah, if, if you found this interesting, subscribe and uh, yeah, see you next time. Have a good one.